Hi, my name is Keith Cooper of Northlight Images and in this video I'm just going to have a quick look at um, the Spider X Studio from Day to Color. Um, it comes in a very nice case which is uh, probably the first thing you spot about it. It's an approach for color calibration and profiling. It lets you calibrate and profile your monitors and it also lets you create your own paper profiles. Now, I'm going to look at uh, paper profiling using this and other equipment and software in future videos. Uh, so really this is just an overview of what you get with the Spyderx Studio. And there is a, a detailed review of this and all its components on the Northlight Images website. In fact, there are several reviews covering different aspects. Now, There we go. As I said, it comes in a nice case. What do you get in it? Well, you get a Spider X monitor calibrator. Now, the Spider X monitor calibrator works very well. Um, it works with the data color software. It also works, and I've um, tried it with this on BenQ monitors such as this 2700 and the 321 I looked at recently it looks using the BenQ software um, so I would for a monitor like this that is hardware calibrated I would use a device from here data color or the x-ray i1 display with the BenQ software um, if you've got the option use the software that comes with the monitor, particularly higher end monitors like this. So this NEC ISO monitors, any of the, the better quality monitors for photography, use the software that comes with them, but use one of the hardware calibrators from somewhere else because they don't supply, not, not unless you get really expensive, cali uh, really expensive um, monitors, then you may get the kit. But anyway, that is the Spider, uh, Spider on its own comes just in a box like that. That's more likely what people are going to get. What I would say if you're just getting a monitor calibrator profiling system, just get one of these. Go for the basic model unless you know that it has features that you need. Um, so this is the Elite version. Um, there are lesser versions of it. They do change names with different models. So I've got reviews of all of these on the Northlight website. But that's the basic device itself. So here we are, here's the whole kit. Now, what else do you get with it? Well, you get this device. This is what Datacolor call a spectrocolorimeter. And this is used for measuring colored patches on paper for building printer targets and printer profiles. So you print the target, you measure it, you create a profile. Um, I'll be having a look at this as well, but I've already got detailed reviews of this. I've been testing versions of this back to the original in 2003 so I've got a lot of stuff on the Northlight Images website if you're interested in uh, printer profiling. Um, it's not difficult uh, whether you need to is another matter altogether but um, that's the uh, spectrocolorimeter, it's the spider print device, USB connector for it. Here is the Here's the uh, small plastic plate that you use for measuring and the uh, prints. And I'll show you this. You have the print, you put this over it, it has a little roller on it, and you just move the spider print backwards and forwards, measures the colours and creates your profile. However, one bit that's often forgotten uh, in this kit, which is actually very useful. Um, I've had one of these um, version of it in my photography kit bag for years. Um, I do uh, industrial photography, I do architectural photography, but particularly for industrial photography, I often work in factories where the lighting is very varied. Um, there may be different sources of light, there may be sources of light in different directions, different types of light, different colour temperatures. Um, and I use something like this. You can stand it, you can attach it to a tripod head, or you can hang it off something. 
and I've got photographs of one of these, or something very similar to it, in bits of machinery all over the country. The useful bits of it, it is a neutral grey, so you can use that for white balance. It has a white on it, so you can check your white levels, and it has a black, obviously, for black levels. It also has a light trap, which is uh, a hole here. The inside is hollow. It has felt or something inside it to absorb light. This means that in almost any environment, that will be absolute black. No light is coming out of it. It's useful sometimes for setting lighting and uh, other aspects of photography. And an underestimated bit of it is the ball bearing on the top. The ball bearing gives you a view of all the lights that you've got. This shows specular highlights, so it can save, you can check your exposure, but it also allows you to check whether there are any untoward sources of light that you hadn't noticed or thought about. I'm looking in this, obviously it's from my angle, and I can see the ceiling lights, uh, which are LED halogen replacement lamps and I can also see there's a window over there and I can see looking at it that um, there's actually a brick wall in the distance and that's what causes me problems with white balance sometimes with the video because when the sun comes out and shines off a bright red brick wall it changes the colour and everything so uh, apologies for variability in some of my videos one day I'll have a proper studio who knows um, but so that is the spider cube, and it's, it's a rather neat device. Even if you have other things to do your profiling, and you have other things to do your monitor setup and, and whatever, if you're a photographer who does um, macro shots outdoors, uh, certainly industrial work like I do, or general purpose, Get one of these. The Spider Cube is much underestimated and is actually rather a nifty bit of kit. But anyway, I'll put that back in there and uh, leave this for now. So there you've got the Spider Print Kit. So there you go. There's the Spider X Studio. Um, I'm not sure the usefulness of this rather nice case. Um, I'm more likely to hollow it out and use it to put a lens in or something like that. But it is really, it is nicely built. Um, but the kit itself is actually useful. It's not just a gimmick. Um, there are lots of ways of making um, of, of making your printer profiles, and this is just one of them. But uh, it does work quite well. But as I say, do check the written reviews I've got because I can go into far more detail than I can here on a video. So hopefully that's a bit of use. And um, there's the Spider X Studio for you. Thank you very much.